Welcome to the PE Health Hut. I'm Coach Stu, and today I'm really excited because we're going to do a little paper fitness challenge, all right? Let's talk about what you're going to need, okay? Because it's called paper fitness, obviously you're going to need some paper, all right? You actually need five sheets of paper. So it doesn't have to be blank sheets of paper, but five sheets of paper. You can grab some old mail that you have at the house. You can grab five line sheets of paper from your notebook. Now, if you don't have any paper and you're scrambling for what to do, how about paper towels, okay? You can get a sheet of paper towels or a roll of paper towels and just tear off five sheets. That works as well. If you can't find either of those, then just find five objects, small objects, all right? And those can work as well. But I prefer that you find paper, all right? Other than that, I highly recommend a bottle of water because you're gonna get out of breath for this, this one, okay? And then as a bonus, maybe, not maybe, but optional, later on at the very end of this lesson, we're gonna do a paper fitness challenge and it would be helpful to have a laundry basket, an empty one, or if you don't have a laundry basket that's handy or free, maybe a trash can or an empty trash can or a shoe box, an empty shoe box, okay? Anything that you can throw something in. So let's get started. Today, we're gonna do the paper fitness challenge and it consists of nine different exercises, okay? You're gonna get a small break and then three exercises after the break. And then there's some one minute challenges, all right? So the first thing I want you to do is take your paper, all right? And you're going to set it down on the ground, okay? Now there are three levels to this, all right? Easy, medium, and hard. If you want the hard version of this workout, then keep your paper just like this. If you want a lesser of a challenge, sort of like an intermediate challenge, then take your paper, all five of them, and fold them hot dog style, okay? Like that. If you want the easiest challenge of them all, then after you fold it hot dog style, fold it one more time hamburger style, like that, okay? Now for me, I'm gonna go with the hardest challenge, or actually, you know what? My space is a little, little tight um, for this particular uh, activity. So I'm actually gonna go with the hot dog style. Okay, so the intermediate challenge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each paper and set it down on the ground. And I'm gonna take about two steps in between each paper and set down the next one. So let's take a look. So here's my space. Okay, I'm gonna take the first paper and set it down, that's one. Then I'm gonna take two steps, one, two, and I'm gonna set down the next paper. There we go. Then I'm gonna take two more steps, one, two, set down the next paper. Take two more steps, set down the fourth paper. Two more steps, and there's the fifth paper. All right.
this is a one minute challenge. All right. So I'm going to set the timer and it's you versus me. Mano y mano. Okay. And it's really simple. It's the first person, not the first person, sorry. It's how many paper balls you can throw underhand or overhand, your choice, into the laundry basket, all right? So ball up four sheets of paper, not five. Keep the fifth one because that's gonna be your starting place. You can't go past the first sheet. So I'm balling up five sheets here. Right now, I've got four sheets. I've got my timer ready. Here's my fifth one. I'm going to set it on the ground here as my starting line. There we go. And I can't go past that line. Your job is to throw as many as you can in the basket in one minute. All right. And if you can beat me, then you can get bragging rights. Go. Congratulations, air high five, air fist pump, nice going. All right, well, listen guys, that was actually a great workout, right? We worked on our agility, our ability to move in various directions quickly and efficiently. And we also worked on some of our hand and eye coordination with this guy, right? I was got to kind of focus, right? And then you're being timed while you do it. So it requires uh, a little bit of uh, efficiency, right? And precision. Okay. Well, that was fun. Like I said, as always, I'm coach Stu. Be safe, be positive and be well. Subscribe by the way, to my YouTube channel and like, and I will see you on our next lesson. All right. Be on the lookout. Take care.